Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicki and today's video is going to be a Goodwill haul. Um, this video is going to be a little different than most of my haul videos because typically as a reseller I focus a lot on the brands that I pick up. So today I wanted to try something a little bit different and I wanted to just pick up items that I thought were cute. So a lot of the time I'll see something in the store and I'll be like, ooh that's so cute and I'll go to pick it up and it'll be like Walmart or Kmart. You know, it'd be some really cheap brand, which honestly, they're not that cheap anymore. If you go into those stores, they're kind of pricey. But, I mean, not super pricey. But you know what I mean. So, yeah, I decided I would just go in and I would go to the dollar racks only. And I would pick out 30 items or close to that. So, I decided that I would go and pick out items that I think are cute. Um, and just let it be that. I didn't care what brand it was. I didn't care what size it was. I just picked out items like I would be shopping for myself. And I am trying to figure out what style I am. What is my brand? I don't know. Like I watch a lot of uh, resellers videos and they talk about like finding your brand. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't even think I have a brand or a style. I'm just like, I'm basic. I just really am. Like, I wear yoga tops and sports bras and uh, Lululemon leggings, and that's like what I wear all the time. Um, but, you know, I guess normally when I go out to, you know, to go eat somewhere, sometimes I just wear this stuff there too. I don't really care. So, yeah, I don't really know what my style is. I know what I like. Um, of course, when I get things home and I try them on, it's a whole other story. Alright, so I'm going to get into this haul. The things I picked up were just things that appealed to me, to my eyes. Um, brand wise, I mean, I guess I, I'll tell you what the brand is. And I probably, when I put these in my Poshmark closet, and that was something else I want to do. I want to see how fast these things sell. Even if they are cheap brands, I just want to see, like, if I post everything for, say, $15 flat. I don't really know what I should do yet. I'm still debating it, but I'm thinking I'm probably just going to do like a $15 flat fee for each item. And, you know, because I paid a dollar, so uh, Poshmark's going to take, if I price it for $15, that means I'll make a $12 profit. That's fine with me, you know? So I just want to see how many likes they get, um, because honestly, some of these cheaper brands really do have some really cute stuff. So let's get into the haul. <laughs> so the first top I picked up is by Marona um, and it is a polka dot top because I love polka dots it's like my favorite thing I love polka dots any type of print that is my thing um, but yeah so it's just a short sleeve polka dot top size small so that is item number one um, item number two is style and company petite I don't know, never heard of them, but it's just like a little Aztec themed top, cotton I guess, I'm assuming it's cotton, polyester, rayon, but uh, yeah, I mean spring's coming up, that's kind of boho-ish, isn't it? Boho-ish. Alright, um, these shoes I picked up were Sam Edelman, they are some green wedge I love these they are so adorable and I wish they were my size but I have big old size 10 feet and these are size 7 so yeah I haven't worn a size 7 since I was probably in the sixth grade <laughs> okay um, the next item is Ecody which is Urban Outfitters I believe Ecody and it's just a little tank tank top I think it's cute so yeah the next item here is Zara it's an organic cotton top um, it's kind of like a cuffed sleeve it's got like the peace sign on it I love that it go really good with some jeans and then of course like the sleeve is bunched up where it buttons up right here but yeah I thought it was cute I'll probably say that after everything to justify me doing this. Alright, this is Fifth Sun. I don't really, I mean, I see it all the time. I never pick it up. I don't think it goes for much. But it's just a cute little tank with some lacing on the bottom. And 
I guess this is like a Thunderbird. <clears throat> All right. More polka dots. So this is a Chico's. Chico's. And it is this polka dot blouse. It's got like the tie front. Um, the little cuffed sleeves. Collar neck. Kind of cute. It would go nice with some white pants, I guess. Uh, this is Talbot's. I've seen these stores. They're like standalone stores. Um, it's got like the buttons on the on the shoulder, and it's got cute feathers all over it. It's just like a navy sweater. Um, yeah, I would totally wear this. This top is, oh, this is a no-name top. There is no tag. Um, as for size, there's no size. I really don't know. Um, <clears throat> but it was pretty. So it's got like this, it's probably polyester. Um, but it's got like the floral polyester or silky front. And then it's got the mesh sleeves. And the back is mesh as well. So... Um, it's a longer shirt, I would say, like a tunic top. Alright, so this dress is by Mossimo. Mossimo, that's Target, I think. Um, and it's this cute little sweater dress. Um, it's got like the quarter sleeves, and it's got... Um, the cowl neck type thing going on. Really cute short little dress. And I had actually picked up a BC, no, yeah, it was a Max Azar, Azaria dress, but the hem was all messed up, so. All right, the next item is a Nicole Miller con collection, and it's these striped pants. Um, it's kind of like a khaki material mix. Is it khaki? So it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's a heavier material, not super heavy, but it's got like turquoise and beige. I don't think you can see the coloring in this lighting, but it's turquoise stripes and it's a brown pant. So it's really cute. These are size eight. Um, they look to be low rise. I'm not necessarily a fan of low rise. I didn't pay attention to that part. Um, this is Love Fire. Probably like a mall brand, um, like Belks or something. But it's this pretty shirt with like medallions on it. I guess that's what you call it, medallions. I'm a sucker for turquoise colors. Pretty, pretty. Um, but yeah. This is a sweater cardigan. It is J. Jill. It's like a lavender button-up uh, sweater. Pretty. It looks kind of white in this video. <laughs> Alright, the next item is not for me. This would probably be for a guy because I think these are guys, but I liked it. It was really cool looking. Um, it's on the bias, which I think is Pack Sun. Um, but it's this fern sweatshirt, and it might be for women. I don't know. But it's really cute. It would go really cute with some pants. Like, uh, it would go really cute with some jeans. But, I don't know. I like stuff like this. Crazy, weird prints. <laughs> so this is something that I would wear if I was, like, you know, 120 pounds. Um, but it's adorable. And the brand is Nolly, N-O-L-L-I-E, and it is a star print crop top, a denim crop top. Um, it is distressed. Really cute. Really, really cute. Let me show you the back. Yep. All right. And this next 
pair are it's by Glamorous. Um, they're just cut off shorts with a big old hole right here. I don't really know if that's supposed to be like that or not. I guess it is. People wear these with like bathing suits and stuff. But I like distressed shorts. And the fact that the, the back is covered more than the front. It's cute. Alright, and of course I'm not a fashion blogger. Nowhere close. But I saw this and I got, I actually picked this up for just Instagram photo. <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was cute. Alrighty. The next item we have here is something, it's called Collection Pimkey. Pimkey? And it's this sheer top with some floral embroidery on it. Really cute. It would look really cute with like, you know, a black crop top underneath it. Um, once again, if I was 120 pounds, I would so rock this. But, um, don't nobody want to see me in a crop top. <sighs> Just saying. Alright, this one, I love this one, and I wish it was bigger, because I would so wear this, like, it is knitted by hand, it's by Curio. But check this, is this not the prettiest, and it's heavy, it is so gorgeous, like, look at that, I think it's adorable, so pretty, it's like little flowers, but yeah, it's really, really heavy, so... Love it. Um, this is American Eagle. <laughs> it's like a, um, I forget the word. But anyway, so it's like a sweater that's got a lace up and it's got that, um, oh, what is that coloring? People do it with their hair all the time. I forget the name of it. Anyway, you know what it is. Tell me in the comment because it'll come back to me after I'm done with the video. I know. I always call my 18 year old. I'm like, hey, what is that thing that your friend did to her hair the other day? And she's like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, that's it. I probably asked her like three or four times already what it is. I always forget the name of it. Okay, this is by Grace Elements. And it's a beaded top. It's like a crochet top, which actually. I read that crochet tops are about to be trending in the spring, so maybe this is a good thing. But it's got these little beads. Um, they look like wooden beads. Yeah, it's just this black top. Crochet, beading, a little cross in the back. Adorable. And it's, it's amazing that all of the beads are still there, so. All right, the next item here is a Lucky Brand, and it's a tunic top. I always have liked Lucky Brand tops. I always buy them, like, when I see them at the thrift store, um, especially the t-shirts. But they're boho, um, just blouses, like, they're peasant tops, and they're, they're um, peplum top. All those things are so cute. They're so cute because the patterns. I love floral patterns. I love prints like this. Um, they just, I don't know, they do something for my mind. <laughs> I love them. But yeah, it's just a tunic top. This was really pretty, and it was soft. I think the softness and the coloring is what drew me to it. It's a petite medium, and it's Liz Claiborne. And I'm going to be honest, like... Out of all of these brands, the only thing that I would actually pick up normally if I went sourcing would be the Sam Edelman shoes. That's it. Like, all this other stuff I would not have grabbed. Just because I was unfamiliar with the brand. Um, anyway, so this is Liz Claiborne. And it's this pretty... It's not cashmere. I, it feels like cashmere. It's 43% lamb's wool. 37% angora rabbit. And then 20% nylon. But it's it's so soft. Like I you have it's so soft. So so soft. But isn't it pretty? I think it's adorable. Uh-huh. But yeah, I'm a sucker for anything with flowers on it. I've always I it was something to do back in the day in the 90s, which is where I'm from. Um 
I was in high school in the 90s and Drew Barrymore was real big in the 90s. She was like my idol. I love Drew Barrymore and she was like a flower child, you know, and something about that always stuck with me because she would always wear flowers in her hair and it's just like, just, I don't know. That's all I can think because I have no other excuse. <laughs> but I just love flowers. This is Elaine Bryant. <clears throat> and I could probably actually wear this. Um, it is a 1416. It's just this black, um, like a knit top, kind of like a, it looks kind of like a peplum top, but the back of it's just basic. Um, so yeah, it's cute. This is, huh, that's weird. So this is Banana Republic, but it has a line crossed through it, and I don't know what that means. Would that be Factory? Because I always thought Banana Republic Factory had like the diamonds underneath it, like J. Crew. I don't know. But it was a really pretty striped skirt. It's a midi. So cute. It's coming to an end. Alright, so this is LuLaRoe, which I... Okay, so like, I wear LuLaRoe stuff. Um, not so much the leggings as their Irma shirts. They're like shorter in the front and longer in the back. I love those shirts. They are my favorite because you can wear leggings with them and get away with it. Nobody sees your butt. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just a LuLaRoe dress. It was actually in the pajama aisle. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty. I like gray. It's got like the pocket. And it's just a LuLaRoe dress. Um, I think it's like the Julia or the Carly. There's so many names, I don't even know. Alright, this is Mito, Mito Shop. But they're these cute scalloped shorts. They're kind of silky feeling. They are probably polyester. Let me see. Um, of course, always polyester. Such a trick, trickery. Alright, so yeah, they're just some cute little shorts scalloped bottoms. I love those. Alright, and then there is this dress. It's by Young Threads. Fashionably Young. It's a size large. Now, I don't know. This might not be a dress. This actually might be a tunic top. I think it is a tunic. So it's a tunic top, which I thought was a dress. But anyway, it was really cute. Look at those prints. Are those not the cutest? I love prints like this. They're just all over the place. It like it goes with anything. I love it. <clears throat> and this is oh yeah, another Lucky Brand because like I said, I love the Lucky Brand. Just a t-shirt with paisleys on it. Love paisleys. And last on my little Hall is this funky dress. It's by Ark and Company. Never heard of them. Um, but it's this cute one shoulder sequin. All of it is sequin. Sequin dress. It is so awesome looking. I love it. It is shorter. Um, and it's got, of course, the one sleeve which has got like the kimono flare look thing to it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I checked it. I was like, okay, please don't let any of these be missing. I mean, if there is, you can't tell. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to attempt to sell this on Poshmark. It is too adorable. It would look so cute with some like knee high boots. Oh, I love it. So yeah, that was my haul and I will show you my receipts. Because when she pulled it, I was like, what is this? Like, did I go to the grocery store? Like, what on earth is this? But yeah, that was my ticket. Um, I spent $36.50 on this haul. So, to find out what I need to sell each item for to make my money back. Now, I know that for the shoes, I paid $6.50 for them. So yeah, I got exactly 30 items. Okay, so I spent exactly... Okay, so I spent $36.50, so I got exactly 30 items, 
and um, in order to make my money back I need to sell each item for at least a dollar twenty one so I think I will do fine there if the things sell I'm not gonna set my price high like I said I'll probably start the prices at fifteen dollars I mean I don't know I'm not gonna comp all of these I'm just saying I'm not gonna comp all of these I'm not going to put measurements in I'm just going to throw them up on my closet now I know as somebody who's had a few cases open against me um, measurements are probably the most important thing that you can put especially when somebody's buying something online so I might I don't know I might put measurements in I don't know I probably should at least do pit to pit so yeah I'll do like the pit to pit measurement like the bust measurement but that's all I'm gonna do and for the dresses of course I'll put those measurements in so anyway um so yeah my goal is to get these listed get them in my closet and I really want to see like how much um attention they get like do people engage with them more than they do just the oversaturated brands because there really is a ton and ton and ton of all these great brands like Madewell and um, Tory Burch and just a lot of beautiful clothing from some really uh, popular brands but there's so much of it like it's just I feel like it would be refreshing to see something that you haven't seen like 12 times already when you're searching you know what I mean so I'm gonna test it out because I may just start doing this it actually might be cheaper and better for me in the long run to just pick out the things that I like because apparently I have very cheap taste in clothing so you know tis what it is <laughs> but anyway I am done with this video I have two more hauls to do I've got a retail haul from Goodwill and Salvation Army and then I've got a Ben's haul I'm trying to split all my videos up so I'll have content for the next couple of weeks because um, next week I am doing a massive house cleaning so I'm not gonna have a lot of time to be doing videos so so I will talk to you all on the next video um, also if you have not entered my giveaway make sure that you go enter um, the link will be in the description below or you can go through my videos and find the giveaway um, video and it'll tell you where to go what to do what you could win um, but yeah that giveaway is going to be going on until April 1st and then I will draw a winner on April 2nd so have a great night bye